Hello and welcome to today's web launch and we have something very exciting for you. Today we are introducing you to the In Spirit collection. Now this collection is going to be there for you throughout all life's most special moments. Think wedding celebrations, think christenings, think to words of a comfort, i.e. cards we need to send in sympathy. This collection is going to tick those boxes for you and do it in such a beautiful way. Just take a look at this. This is beautiful. So these are just some of the dies included within the In Spirit collection. And this has been created by Louise. Thank you, Louise. Louise has chosen to use one of our three dimensional frames. And what a gorgeous design. The wreath of flowers, again, the flowers are included within the main collection. And then this beautiful church to the center as well, just glorious. If you're thinking more of sympathy cards and things like that, what about something like this? Really paired back, clean and simple, but bringing such a comfort at times when it's needed. Little sentiment to the center there from your stash, thinking of you, just a beautiful, beautiful card like so. Perhaps you want to be starting using different mediums as well with your designs. Think to printing out your artwork on things like printable vellum. Again, really lovely using that cross as an aperture to the background of the card and then the floral elements overlaid on the top cut from a vellum design. So, so pretty and I've got so many more samples to share with you as well. Let's now take a look at what you're getting included within this collection. So the In Spirit collection, as we've mentioned, is there for you at all of those special times in your life. And it starts with our church here. This is Sunday service and we're just showing you the whites as the outline. Now, as you'll be familiar with, with two red robins, we also bring you this spectacular artwork. This is available as a free download from our website highlightcrafts.com and what we've done here for you with Sunday service is included lots of different sizes. So think back to your previous collections from Two Red Robins. Lots and lots of people have asked for a church. A church is often the central point in a village. You know it's one of those sort of gathering areas. Having this now as the center point of your cards is gonna be so so useful to tell those stories around. Next up, included within the main collection, you have got your faith. So these are your crosses. Again, we've seen them used as apertures. You could use them as perhaps bookmarks for your prayer books, things like that, but really lovely to adorn the fronts of your cards. Again, as we've mentioned, so many uses throughout your life as to these special, special designs. I've also included on this board the sentiments that you get within this collection too. Really lovely, a simple word word, hope, peace, and love, lovely clear font, beautiful size as well, not overwhelming from the front of the card, and these do come with their matte layer too. You'll notice these have been sized to match beautifully with the center to the crosses too. Next up, I will show you the artwork for the crosses because of course we do give you your reflection artwork. Lovely neutral tone, lovely wooden design and each one, even down to the smallest cross, has that printable download available from highlightcrafts.com. Next up, we have got your floral. So this one here is someone special. This is gorgeous. Again, what we're giving you are the white cuts. You can see the different elements included within this die set. So you've got the lilies, you've got the little matte layer for the main flower there as well. And then you've got all these additional leaves, which means you can build your own bouquets, your own tuckins, your own designs with this. Love the color, the soft sort of cream palette into that gorgeous green as well. Really, really great for your bridal cards, for your christening cards, and of course, those with sympathy cards as well. Next up, we have got this one. This is Blush Posy. This is really, really sweet. Great as a little corner piece there. You saw how it was used to create a full wreath by cutting it and using it over and over again in a lovely circular design. And you've got the little snip aways, the little tuck in elements too. The main die itself, remember, does come with that outer layer as well. Also included within the main collection are your wild tuck-ins. These are such 
handy little dies. Each one, you've got things like your little leaf sprig here, you've got your willows, you've got your little um, catkins here as well. Great for adding in those extra textures within your bouquets. Perhaps you've cut the lily a couple of times, you just wanna extend the look. Tuck these in behind your florals to extend your bouquets. Even if you wanted to cut them from white, color them yourself. Perhaps you want to cut them from different card stocks and introduce things like your alcohol markers, your ink lily pens, or your watercolors as well. Create different looks with them by painting them yourself too. Next up, we have got Delicately Draped. This is a really lovely way of adding a sentiment, of adding a personal touch to your front of your card. Again, each one is sized to match in with those crosses that you saw earlier. Let me just grab the board so I can show you for sizes. You can see how they then correspond to be draped over the front of the cross here, like so. We're giving you these in two different colorways. You've got this lovely sort of rich red color, but we've also got a lovely white as well. So again, different occasions, different uses for the colorways. You don't have to just use the sentiments included. You could perhaps come in and write maybe a name, maybe it's a, a birth card, a birth announcement, and you want to include the date and the weight of the baby. Those sort of things are gonna be really lovely to include on these little banners here. And at the top, you've got the extra little tails if you want to extend the drape of the design as well. On to our next board. These are just gorgeous. We finish with our little robins here. This is Robbie and Rupert. Once again, they have their outer dye as well, but look how they interact. And think back to those drapes. Perhaps you're gonna have the little birds, the little robins, either side holding the corners of the drape there with the message in the center. Lovely ways of using them. You do have the smaller little birds as well if you want to create a more detailed scene with elements in the background too. And once again, don't forget that beautiful colorway, the artwork you're seeing here is available to download from highlightcrafts.com. So that gives you an overview of the whole collection. That is the In Spirit Dye Collection. If we take a look at the dyes themselves, you can see here lots and lots of dyes. The Faith collection with all the crosses nested into one another there. You've got the leaves and the flowers from the Someone Special, the little wild tuck-ins, all on one die, which is super, super handy because you can just pop that through one cut and you get all of your one, two, three, four, five, six die cuts from it as well. And also, as we've seen, Rupert and Robbie are robins. You've got your sentiments to the top there. The nested, church design to Sunday service and your banners as well. So lots and lots and lots of dies within this collection to keep you crafting. Now the collection as a whole, if you would buy each die individually, it would be $89.92. But today we're doing that as a special bundle price of $74.99. But of course, if you are a Club Highlight member, we are doing even more of a saving for you. You can get that whole collection for £67.49. That is a saving of $22.43. We do have other bundle options for you as well. Smaller bundles, first up, Delicate Blooms, features someone special, Blushed Posy and Wild tuck -in. So these are your floral elements as you've seen through the boards. If you were to buy each one of these die sets individually, you would look at a total price of $29.97, but we're doing that at a bundle price today of $24.97. As you come to expect, Club members, you do have an extra saving on that as well. Your price for this bundle, Delicate Blooms, is $22.47, a saving of £7.50. We also have Elegantly Sentimental. So this collection features your Robins, Robbie and Rupert. It features also the uh, drapes. Uh, remember, the, the little Robins can hold those drapes in their beaks and also a simple word as well. So the love, the hope, and the other one. Uh, love, hope, sorry, I'm drinking you my peace. I'm apologies, I'd forgotten what the last one was. Elegant Sentimental, those three die sets, if you would buy each one individually, would be £26.97. 
a bundle price of today for $21.97. But if you are in, a in the club, the club highlight members are getting this for £17.77, a total saving of £9.20. So I think it's lovely to have different options for you to buy into if you wish to. You've got that main collection, don't forget, the In Spirit, and we have those two smaller collections as well. Something to suit all budgets there. Shall we get on to making a card with this collection? So in front of me, I've got a whole collection of the dies. Again, like I always do with most demonstrations, I have all my die cuts ready to go at the top. And that gives me uh, the ability to come in and mix and match and choose what I want to work with. Onto this, I am working on a, I think it's a seven by nine card blank. And I can see I've then used 300 GSM uh, white cardstock just to create this card blank from. Again, I looked to the reflection artwork. I had a little look and thought, right, what, what colours do I want to really, really emphasise in this collection? So I went with a green colour palette. Uh, these greens are from the Craftmaster Apple Crumble, Apple Pie collection. Really lovely, fresh spring colours. And I felt it worked so lovely in the sort of evergreen kind of remembrance feel of this card. So I've cut my matte layer down just quarter of an inch smaller than the card base itself. I'm using finger lift tape just to stick this down, getting that central and then taking away one of the tabs like so all the way around just to make sure that's nice and aligned. Onto this I then wanted to introduce some of our vellum because I've created an aperture for the front of my card but I didn't want the bright green from behind if I should show you that kind of is a little bit overpowering. I wanted it for the edge but I didn't want it so stark to the centre of the card so to soften that look I've cut down a piece of vellum so you still see the green but it just gives it a more soft feel to the design. Because I'm working with vellum, I'm using um, red liner tape, just because vellum can be a little bit um, tendency to lift from your card stock and things if you're using a glue. So red liner tape on the vellum there, just to hold that in place and then burnish that down. Just a nice way of softening. I wanted a nice feel to the inside of this aperture for this card. And I felt the vellum really did work its magic there the top layer as we've mentioned we've cut away the cross at the center so that's the largest size cross from the faith die set and I have lifted this on foam tape the foam is there to give you a little bit of drop shadow to give you a little bit of point of difference between your layers as well and I'm just doing exactly what I did with the fingerless tape just taking the carrier sheet and folding it over the edge of the cardstock there to give me a tab to pull to stick. These little elements here, I'm just using them to lift, okay? So we don't want the edges of the cross sort of folding down onto the card. We want to continue that lift all the way through. So they are just there for support. We don't have to stick those at all. For this layer, once again, we are just lining that up, holding it in place and sticking just one side down before we go in and remove the tape all the way around. That's given us a really lovely backdrop. And as we've mentioned, this could be a with sympathy card. This could be a wedding card. This could be a christening or a confirmation card, for example. Lots and lots of occasions where these kind of die sets would come into play. To the center of the aperture, I've chosen to use one of the smaller crosses of the artwork. I feel that frames it really beautifully, but also draws the eye to the center of the card as well. Once again, because I'm sticking to the vellum and I just wanted that extra assurance of everything sticking in place, I'm using our red liner tape and I'm just making sure that cross, that reflection artwork is nice and central to our aperture there as well. Sticking that one side and then going in and removing the carrier sheet from the red liner tape to stick the rest of the cross down. A little bit fiddly. <laughs> until you get a purchase on the red liner tape like so. I'm just sticking that nice and flat to the background and then the final little edge here as well just wants to work its way off. Let me just spin that round so I can come at it from the other side. Use my poker tool just to encourage the carrier sheet 
off. So again, that could be it for the front of your card. If you wanted to, you could add the sentiment, you could add the drapes to the center, add your little sentiment, and that would be lovely as a nice sympathy card, for example. The cross that I've cut away from the center could well be a lovely insert to the inside. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's stick that to the inside. I think sometimes we overlook the inside of the card. So it's nice to then just continue that same look and that feel of the card design to the inside. I'm using my book binding glue and I'm just using the grid lines on my mat to try and get that central as well. There, okay. To the front, I thought it would be really nice to embellish this, um, perhaps more of a christening design, perhaps more of a confirmation design. Let's go in with some of the florals from the Blushed Posy. I'm also going to grab some of the florals and the leaves from the Someone Special as well, because I think this, this is a really lovely way of crafting, having all the little bits out to the side just so you can start working with them. Here, I'm going to start with that Posy, and we're just going to shape these first off on the back to give that a little bit of a round feel and then I'm going to first bring that round and for the leaves themselves, uh, sorry the petals, just bring those to the front and shape the leaves. So you see here that same colour that I've used from the Craft Master Cardstock features as part of the leaf design in this posy. So as my start point I'm going to stick that first one down and then I'm going to start offering up because I'd like to come around the side and just up the edge a little bit as well. But it might be that I want just elements of the die itself rather than using the full flower over and over again. What's great about using the downloads from High Night Crafts in conjunction with your dies is you can print these off as many times as you like and keep coming in, snipping away elements, using just parts of the dies as well to start building up your layers for your card. So here we're going in with our scissors and just removing just one of the white flowers here. And I'm just gonna round that off. I'm leaving the leaves on this one as well, but this could then come to the top. And you start, see how you start adding in detailing. You start adding in a different look to your card design, perhaps even to the bottom there really is up to you how you craft with these. This one I will stick because I want to commit to having the little edge along the bottom but I would like a few more leaves so we can take these leaves from this cutaway that we've just used. Again shaping by moving the paper rather than moving the scissors and anywhere where we've cut away just rounding off. Just take the time to do these extra little bits to give you a really lovely finish to your card designs. This one, I'm gonna stick behind, so I'm gonna stick that flat. But you see how just by overlapping and overlaying, you're already starting to give a different look to those die cuts you have, like so. Again, I'm gonna come in, I think let's use another one of the flowers, but this time we can tuck it right behind, so let's we don't have to be too careful about how we cut this one out because this one's going to feature behind the others. Snipping, following the cut lines that are already laid down to release that little flower like so. So you're just building, taking that one die and building it up, building in detail, adding it to the design really is a nice way of using your dies because each one is going to be different and you're extending the look of what you've already got going on on the front of your card there. Just tucking that behind, just poking out that little bit there. I feel like we need a few more little leaves on this side, so I'm, nothing is gonna go to waste. I'm gonna use every little part of this as well, but I do just wanna shape that little edge like so. Again, just twisting and turning the leaves, giving them a little bit of height and dimension and going in. So when you're building bouquets and things like that, do take the time to add, to cut away, really look to how you want your design to look. I love that little cluster of the poses to one side. However, I do want to include some of the lilies as well because I think they're very, very pretty. So same thing again, let's just shape a few of them out. So I've got a few ready to play with and add in. What I love about this particular die set, as we mentioned when we went through the board, you've got lots of lily designs here. You've got lots of little leaves. These are brilliant for added texture, for added detail to your designs as well. Different orientations of them too allows you to really extend the look 
of the design. Once we've got a few ready to go, we can start tucking these in as well. So it might be that we tuck this just behind the posy. I'm using, once again, pin flare three-dimensional glue gel to give that a little bit of lift. But essentially what we're doing here is almost like becoming our own florist. You're adding in detailing over the top of the backdrop of those other posies there to give you more height, to give you more dimension, and to give you that uniqueness of your own sort of bouquet design here as well. Perhaps we want another one of those facing another direction. Again, these are gonna add height, they're gonna give lift to your posy design. But each time we're just going in with a little bit of glue gel, lifting the layers and tucking them like so. A few little leaves adds to the greenery of the design as well, but also draws in this area of the look to the bottom of the design too. So again, just slotting them in, lifting them, curling them round, adding them in around the design. Just lifting, brushing away anything that we've cut away. And you see how these little designs really come together. They really bring you such a lot of joy just working in this way. Anywhere where we're going in, and adding a little bit of the leaves, for example, we can go in with the book binding glue and tuck those behind. Let's have a few more leaves because these are these are quite expressive little leaves here. They're just a nice way of adding in just that little pop of green to the design. Here we've got a little area that could do with filling. Let's go in with a leaf, like so. So you're really making your own bouquet with these little designs. Such a fun way of crafting. And of course you can go to town, you can keep adding, you can keep adding in detail as much as you like until you're happy with the look of the little posy, like so. I'm gonna leave it there for the leaves and things. We could of course add even more. You know, we've got little tuck-ins here, but you could add more. And to finish this particular little bouquet, I am gonna grab some of the wild tuck-ins as well, because again, it's just gonna add in that depth of color, bring in some of the green for the mats and layers from the background, and just add in that texture too. Just like a real florist would, you're adding in those leaves to give you even more detailing within your bouquet. But you're just lifting, lifting the previous layers and tucking like so. A few little green sprigs as well. Using the little brown, twigs and things works really well because you're bringing in that same color from the cross into the bouquet itself. Everything then works together so, so beautifully. Lifting and tucking and then just arranging around it. You know, it could be that you want that coming through to the foreground like so. Some of the other leaves turning in the other direction. So you've got ways of sort of mirroring the look to the top really important when you're coming to balance your designs to add in that detailing and the look. So I'm using my pokey tool just to get in and just lay the dies over one another, die cuts over one another, so they're all anchoring onto that point. Doesn't need to be over the top, just a little bit of a hint is great. And let's go in with another one. So we've got the green up here from those leaves. Let's go in with a smaller one to the bottom just to pull in that color as well. And just tucking that in like so. I mean, you could absolutely cut that posy a couple of times, have it built up on the front of the card if you wanted to, just as an example. Let's just pop those to one side. I think, let's go with the sentiment. This one I've cut just from plain white card, so it matches the backdrop of my card, the card base. And I think that's gonna work nicely across the center of my cross there, just as something very, very simple. The word peace from the sentiments there. Again, going with a little bit of the book binding glue and using my tweezers, just position that across the cross to the center, like so. Don't worry if you get the glue a little bit squidged over, it will dry clear. And I think to finish, let's see about using one of the Robins. Just to bring that little pop of color again, just come in 
the top corner as well. You've got that sort of bouquet to the side here, which is giving you a nice sort of balance to this edge. Having our little robin to the top corner is going to balance that design further. Just using our pokey tool to shape his wings and his little tummy. Using glue gel to keep that height and dimension and to have him just kind of looking on over the top of the bouquet like so. Just to finish a really sweet little aperture card like so. And this could be any backdrop. This could be cut in white. This could be cut in pearlescent card if you wanted something a little bit more neutral. Just a lovely way of crafting with that In Spirit die collection. Okay, should we have another look at those boards of what we're getting within this collection? Let me just grab them. Oh, excuse me, I've kind of put them out of reach. Bear with me. <laughs> here we go. So we're going through the main collection here. We're going to start with Sunday service and that's that lovely church. Remember how we were saying a lot of the collections from Two Red Robins, you have those buildings in and the church is often the very central point of any village. So it's a really nice way of designing a little country scene around that. The reflections themselves, really detailed. I love how the light is coming in from the side. You've got all this beautiful glory of that church with its tower and its stained glass windows highlighted. The church itself has come in at various uh, degrees of sizes there. So great for building your scenes, great for building in perspective to your designs as well. Next up, the faith die set. You've just seen us use this as an aperture to our card. Again, giving you that multiple sizes there is just so lovely for all your different card makes. We've also got the sentiment here, a simple word, hope, peace, or love with its surround. The reflections for my crosses have disappeared. I'm so sorry, I will get to those. Here they are, my apologies. So the artwork there to match in even down to the smallest cross there has still got your reflection artwork. And you've just seen us use the beautiful someone special here. This is your beautiful lilies. We've mentioned how you get the different individual lilies as well to build your own bouquets, to build your own looks to this design. Next up, we have got the posy. Remember, you can snip into these, design these how you want to. Perhaps you want to take just a few of the leaves. Perhaps you want to include a few of the little flower elements as well. It's a really lovely way of crafting. Next up, we have got those wild tuckins. These are going to be so useful, not just for this collection, but for all of your collections you have at home. Any floral collection, to be able to add in little tuck-in elements just extends that bouquet design with beautiful lush green textures and, of course, your more little branch elements as well. Also included are your delicately draped. So these are your banners. We've already mentioned how you could have these draped across the front of your crosses. You could have your robins sat either side holding your drapes. They are a lovely way of including sentiments to your card. It gives you a space into which personalize your cards as well. Next up, our robins. These are so sweet. You've got Robbie and Rupert here and their little surround as well. I love the fact they come with the smaller versions too so you can build in that perspective to your design and of course like with all of the dies these two come with their free download reflection artwork available from highlightcrafts.com. The dies themselves we'll have a quick look through too. As we've mentioned, you've got your various sizes of your cross from the faith there. You've got the posies, the wild tuckins, and the beautiful florals to the bottom here. And then for the other board, you have got the churches from Sunday service, Robbie and Rupert, your robins, delicately draped in those various sizes, and of course, your a simple word sentiments as well. We'll take a look at the price breakdown for this. So if you were to buy each one of these die sets individually, you would be paying a total for the main collections, every board we've just gone through would be $89.92. But today's bundle price we are doing at $74.94 for you. If you are a club member, there's even more of a saving on that. Today's price is $67.49, which is a saving of $22.43. However, we do have two smaller bundles as well. Perhaps it's just the florals you are interested in. Delicate Blooms features 
Tuckins, Someone Special, a Blushed, a Posy and Wild Tuckins. If you were to buy those three die sets individually, you would be looking at a price of $29.97. A bundle price we've done today at $24.97. But of course, if you are in the club, you get that extra little bit of saving. $22.47 is the price for today for club members. If you're not a member of the club yet, I highly recommend just going on to highlightcrafts.com, signing up to the design, signing up to the um, newsletter essentially, and you'll be joining the club as well. It's a free to join club and you're making those extra savings. A few more finished samples. Let's just have a look at different ways of using this card, similar to what we've just designed there using those florals all the way around the cross and the robin coming in so you can see how you can change that up a little bit as well perhaps it's just the church you want to feature we were talking about how you could be using these in uh, your village scenes for example and your previous die sets really really sweet or maybe you want to create something which you're going to come back to time and time again perhaps it's for a confirmation you could then create a little prayer book for example really lovely old book of psalms something like that and you can put the cross embellishment with the floral to the front i also want to show you just two more little samples because i think it's nice to see this is a sweet way of using the in spirit collection there with the little sentiment saying peace on the drape but look how instead of using the reflections um vicky thank you vicky has chosen to use everything cut in white which i think gives a really lovely finish to your card and then the pop of color coming from little robbie or rupert the robin and don't forget snip into your dies add lots and lots of layers this is a special little card here look how we've added lots and lots of layers to create your own decoupage with your robins flying around that little banner to the top saying hope. I think you agree there's lots and lots of ways of using the In Spirit collection. We look forward to seeing what you create with it and until next time guys stay safe and we shall see you very very soon. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts make sure you subscribe by clicking the button below then click the bell icon to receive notifications for all our new content.